This is a big step for Zynga. Let's face it, anytime a company makes a change for the man at the top, it's a big deal. Now, Mark Pincus, the man who founded the online video game giant, is removing himself from being the singular public face of Zynga. He's going to relinquish the role of CEO, but still be the chairman of the board and the chief product officer. Now, this is the new man at the top. This is a guy named Don Matrick. And if you're a video gamer or a parent of a kid who is a gamer, you might know who he is. He's Microsoft's former head of interactive entertainment. Basically, the man behind that wildly popular Xbox gaming platform. Now, he's a man who's had a storied career in the video game business, having co founded his own video game company at the age of 17, a company called Distinctive Software. He eventually sold that to Electronic Arts, which led him to become the president of Worldwide Studios at EA and led to his career eventually at Microsoft. So, Betty, this is a man who knows a lot about the video game business. And Dom, he's definitely got the resume for the top job at Zynga, but he's got a tough job of head of, uh, ahead of him as the CEO. So what are the first things he needs to do? Well, I mean, but Betty, Zynga is no longer the king of the hill when it comes to games on Facebook. That title now belongs to King.com. The company behind games like Candy Crush Saga, according to online firm app data, King.com now has about 150.4 million monthly users, beating out Zynga's 150.2 million. Now, Matrick will also need to work on attracting customers who like their gaming experience on smartphones and tablet computers. All of this to help stem a 70% drop in the stock price since its IPO back in December of 2011. So, Betty, when you look at the chart, yes, Don Matrick has got a nice resume, but overall, he's going to have to do a lot of work to get back to that $10 IPO price. Remember, Betty, this is a $3 stock right now.